hanging out courtside with NBA TV's Rick Campbell. And Rick, we're at the NBA Summer League. First and foremost, give me your early impressions of Vegas. Well, I mean, it's always fun to come out here. And, you know, last year with the lockout, uh, you know, one of the casualties of the lockout, you know, of course, 20% of the NBA's regular season, but no Orlando Summer League, no Vegas Summer League. And uh, it's an annual pilgrimage um, for those of us fortunate enough to be uh, you know, blessed with the jobs that we have, but I look forward to it every year. I mean, uh, uh, the NBA Finals to me is the best two weeks of the year. And then getting out here to Las Vegas, uh, uh, whether it's for a week, four days, two weeks, whatever, whatever uh, the case may be, it's awesome to see the rookies, uh, you know, for the first time wearing the colors that they're going to be wearing as professionals, uh, starting to get into the system that they're going to be playing in in, in their first year. And uh, for those of us who, you know, clock the NBA religiously and don't watch that much college basketball, uh, it's a great opportunity to get to look at these guys, you know, get to see Jared Sullinger, Thomas Robinson, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, uh, Austin Rivers, and all these studs are going to make the NBA even better this upcoming season. It's uh, one of my favorite events of the year. I love Las Vegas. The people out here are great. Uh, uh, Warren Legary and Albert Hall do an unbelievable job running this event right here. And I look forward to it every year. Awesome. And this year, there's 24 teams at the Las Vegas NBA Summer League. A lot of rookies, first and second round picks from both this year's draft and last year's draft. Of this year's class, who in particular do you think could come in and make an immediate impact? Well, I, I think a lot of these guys uh, are going to have to. I think Kid Gilchrist, who's got a knee injury right now, I just spoke with uh, uh, Rich Cho, uh, one of the executives with the Bobcats, and he said, an MRI revealed no structural damage. He hyperextended his knee early here in Vegas, uh, uh, and he should be fine, but he's been shut down for Vegas. So that's disappointing that, that we don't get a chance to see that young stud out here. Uh, but he's their starting three. You know, they took him second overall. They're throwing him in there. Uh, obviously, Anthony Davis, we're getting a chance to watch him with USA Basketball. Um, he's going to be a rim protector and uh, uh, help New Orleans sort of transcend out of the doldrums. And, uh, uh, you know, Austin Rivers is going to be an impact player right away. Um, you know, like Jared Sollinger, I'm not sure Boston needs him to be an impact guy right away. You know, to me, he's, he's a very skilled, very promising young player. But to me, he's a little bit of an NBA project. Uh, uh, and I, you know, they just have so many guys. They're so thick, they have so many veterans, and they're so deep. And, you know, they're in it to win the championship. You know, they're not in developmental mode in terms of getting guys run out on the court. So I don't know how, how big of a, a piece of the puzzle Sullinger will be for the uh, Celtics during the regular season, but uh, he looks like a hell of a player. I mean, at 21, I, I think he's the steal of the draft. Awesome. Well, that's Rick Campbell of NBA TV. Rick, appreciate the time. We'll catch up with you later in the week. Great this time, Rick. Boom, we'll see right you later. There. That's Rick Campbell. Thanks, Rick. <laughs>